Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining me today for some outdoor yoga. It's one of the few days that it's been really, really nice out to get to do yoga outside. So we're going to enjoy the sounds and the view of the beautiful outdoors. Let's go ahead and get started. Start in all fours. Come on down. And take your knees wide, toes to touch. Sit back into that child's pose, forehead down. Right here, arrive in your space. Start to notice what you hear. See if you notice the birds, any other sounds that come with the outdoors. Just really notice. Now take a moment and shift into what you feel. Maybe you feel the cool air breeze on your skin. You're noticing the temperature of that air. You're noticing the hardness of the floor, the mat, the earth below you. Noticing your toes touching and your forehead touching the mat. Take a deep breath in. Open your mouth. Let it go. Again, deep breath. And release. Work your way to all fours. Move around in that all fours position any way that feels good. Maybe curl the toes. Send the belly down. Look up for your first cow pose. And then roll the back. Chin to chest. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Really nice. Come back to all fours. Take that left foot back. Stack your right wrist and uh, shoulder on top of each other and just release those fingertips up into the air. Look up to the sky. Open up those hips a little more. Reach that top arm way forward. Feeling the stretch in the left side body. Start to come up to all fours and reverse that all the way back. Now it's in your right side body. And come back, make a T. Come back down, lift that leg. Feel the outer hip on the left. Look up, reach forward. Beautiful. Leave the leg up. Keep the left hand down. Now take the left toes straight down to the mat. Point it towards the mat. Reach the right arm out for bird dog. Really stretch. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, touch that elbow and knee. Inhale, lengthen. Touch. We'll do three rounds. And come on back to all fours. We're going to do the other side. So now right leg goes back. Stack your left shoulder, left wrist. And then reach those right fingers up to the sky. Look up to the sky. Feels so good. Have some sun on the face. Notice that. Reach all the way forward. Feel it from your right toes out your right index finger. Round your left knee. Come on up. Make a T. And reverse. Now feeling the left side body. Take a breath. Exhale, put that hand down, lift that right leg, look up. Reach that right arm way forward, leaving the leg, hand coming down, right toes pointed to the ground, left arm lifts. Bird dog, lengthen with the breath in. Exhale, touch. Lengthen. Exhale, touch. One more. And 
lengthen to finish. Exhale, come on down. This time, sweep your right arm up. Look at it. Look to the sky. Exhale, come on down. Feel that right shoulder stretch out. If you want a little more, lift the left arm and then revisit that left leg parallel to the ground, left toes down. Look up. Feel the sun on your face. Hand comes down, knee comes down. On thread, revisit that side plank modified. Lift that leg, reach all the way forward, and then come on back, reverse. T, up, reach, and we're just gonna come back down this round. Left side, sweep the left arm, look at it. Exhale, thread it under. Inhale, right arm comes up. And then on your exhale, take that right leg back. Look up. A lot of stretch going on right here. Knee comes down, hand comes down. Sweep that left arm up, revisit left foot back, modify, inhale, exhale, inhale, feel it, and exhale, come on back down. Curl those toes under, first down dog of the practice. Just work it out. Now, make sure you have an inverted V. If your back is rounded, you need to bend your knees a little bit more so you can straighten it and press that heart towards your back thighs. Pressing all 10 fingers into the ground, into the earth, down and forward. And then work to get those heels a little closer. You don't have to touch. It's just about getting that stretch. Walk your hands to the back of your mat. Make sure your feet are separated, shoulder width apart. Grab opposite elbows and just sway in that ragdoll position. Feel what's going on inside of your body. Note any tightness. And use your breath and your movement together to work out that stiffness or tightness as you work through the practice. Release the hands, hands on your shins. Press your shins back, feel the crown of your head go forward as you look down. Breathe in, pull the belly in, the shoulder blades together. This is your halfway lift and pull. Inhale, halfway lift one more time. Exhale, pull. Inhale, reach up. Look up. Loving that sun. Grab the left wrist. Pull it up. Side stretch to your right. Come back to center. Switch it out. Grab the right wrist. Pull it to the left. Inhale. Reach up. Look up. Through the fingertips. Up to the sky. Exhale. Bow. Soften the knees. Inhale to that halfway lift. Exhale, walk it out to that high push-up position. Pull the belly in tight. Look to the top of your mat or right above your fingertips. And just breathe in and out your nose. Breathe in, in, out. Ujjayi breath, three more breaths. Relax the face. Relax the mind. Put the knees down, lift the feet up, shift forward, come all the way down. Straighten the legs, press the tops of the feet in the mat, squeeze the elbows towards each other, lift your heart, inhale, exhale. Two more, inhale, and exhale. Maybe a little higher this time, inhale, and exhale, press up, child's pose, release the low back. 
Come on up, down dog. Hips to sky. Walk the hands to the back of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root your feet. Rise to the sun. Exhale, bow. Inhale. Exhale, walk it out. We're going to keep moving. This time, shift it forward. Staying in that high plank. Come all the way down. Press the tops of the feet. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. This time, inhale, look up to the right. Twist a little bit. Exhale, down. Inhale, a little twist to the left. Exhale, down. Knees wide, child's pose. One breath in. Exhale, down dog. Walk the hands to the back. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, walk. Now this time, make sure you, if you need to put your knees down, do. Otherwise, just move a little faster. Inhale, lift up straight. Exhale, down. Inhale, open and twist. Exhale, come down. Inhale, open to the left. Exhale, come down. Press up and back, child's pose. Down dog. Walk the hands to the back. Halfway lift. And bow. Root to rise. Extended mountain. And soften the knees. Come down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, up, moving on, walking to the back, halfway lift, forward fold, extended mountain, and dive down, halfway, walk it out, this time maybe halfway down or put your knees, we're going to come to that up dog. Straight to down dog. One more round. Walk it back. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Roots rise. And bow. Halfway. Walk it out. Shift it forward. Half or all the way down. Up dog or cobra. Down dog. Three breaths. Now, when we flow through the high plank, low plank, up dog, down dog, you do not have to do that. You can skip it all together. You can put your knees down for modification. You can go all the way down. You can do cobra instead of up dog or a combination. You need to learn to listen to your body. This is something that has taken me some time, but listen to your body, give it what it needs, and go from there. Here we go. This time up on the toes, bend the knees, walk, or if you're ready, float into that halfway lift at the top of your mat. Exhale, fold, big toes together, heels slightly apart, inhale, chair, sit your butt back, exhale, airplane, palms down, looking out in front of you. Inhale, reach up, exhale, airplane, doing three rounds, inhale, exhale. Inhale, this time hands to heart center. Keeping your knees side by side, we're gonna twist a little bit. So open the arms, inhale, exhale, hands to heart center. Sink down, reset, inhale to the left. Exhale, hands down, together. Inhale, open it up, keeping those knees side by side. Exhale, inhale, three rounds, exhale. Inhale, last round. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, stand all the way up. Look up through your fingertips and soften the knees back. Maybe grab the backs of your ankles. Pull yourself in. Feel that stretch for a moment. Inhale, lengthen, release. And you, you can choose step back, high to low, or all the way down, cobra or up dog, meeting down dog, your vinyasa. 
toes together at the back of the mat. Lift the right leg up. Touch that right elbow in a high push-up position. Inhale the leg back up. Exhale to the opposite side. Inhale it up. Knee to nose. Step it through. Back knee down. So crane pose right here. You can stay with your knees, hands and knees together, or you can rise up, look up to the beautiful sky. Feel that. Inhale, look up one more. Maybe reach up, everybody. Exhale, airplane. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. That was three. So this time, inhale. Hands to heart center. Same thing in this crescent position or down with the knee down. Crane pose. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Two more. Last one. Feeling that left hip. Hand comes down on the left. Lift up that back knee. Open it up. Drop that left hip. Look to the sky. Exhale, hand down. This is where you float out or go straight to down dog. Right side done, first round, left leg up, left knee, left elbow touch. Use your breath, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Drop it down, gently place that right knee down. Reach, if you're not ready, hands to your knees. Feel that stretch, maybe even open the heart if you're ready and reach back up. Good, hands to heart center and back, airplane. Inhale up, exhale airplane. Inhale up, exhale airplane. Inhale reach, hands to heart center. Inhale open up, look to the back. Exhale back to heart center. Three times. Notice that right hip stretched. Reach up. Right hand comes down. Lift that back knee. Open arm twist right here. Firefly. Look up. Hands down. Vinyasa. Your way. Gonna go one more round. Here we go. Up on the toes. Then walk or float. Halfway lift. Fold. Chair. Inhale. Exhale. Airplane. Inhale. Keep those hip bones hard. High. Exhale. Palms face down. One more round. Working those thighs. Reach up, hands to heart center. This time you're going to twist to your right elbow, comes down to the thigh. Inhale, open up. Exhale, come to center. Inhale, twist left. Exhale, open. Hold. Come on back up. Inhale one more time. Look. Exhale, come to center. Twist right. Open up. Come to center. Twist left, open up, come to center. Keeping your butt low, last round. Good, all the way up, stand up. This time take your feet shoulder width apart, opposite elbows, revisit that rag doll pose. Notice how this one feels a little different than the first time. Working those thighs and hips. We're gonna take it to the Crescent Warrior crane pose. Next part of the flow. So halfway lift and vinyasa. Shoot it back, step it back. Right leg up, 
right elbow up left up knee to nose step it through back knee down reach up airplane up airplane one more airplane now stay there you're gonna need to curl that back toe under lift up pull keep your feet rooted reach up hands to heart center start to twist to your right left elbow right thigh press your hands together open your wings look up hands back together reach up for crescent inhale look up and back exhale warrior two great work sink it down get that right angle in that right leg pressing your knee to the right side so you can see that big left or big right toe hold reverse really reach sink that front knee warrior two reach out forward right elbow down left hand up now you can stay right here or skim Take the top hand either on your thigh or the ground. Take it to the right side of your right foot. Start to transfer that weight into that right foot, balancing half moon. As smooth of a transition as you can make it. Once you get there, look up. Maybe take those fingertips off the ground, even if it's just for a second. Start to bend that front knee. Come on back. Gentle warrior two, reverse. Watch this transition, cartwheel down. Right leg, three-legged dog, bend and stack, and gently swing it around. Your choice to come into that flip dog. Let's come up on the balls of our feet. Relax the face, just enjoy the scenery, beautiful nature around you. Calm in the storm. Look down. Heels down. High push up. Left, right knee to the left. Either put the knee down and come back up into that modified side plank or shoot it all the way through. Reach the left arm up. Look up. Feel that. Lift the hips higher. High push up. And then side plank left either up or on your left elbow or left knee can also come down for that for a modified side plank. Maybe take a tree pose with the right foot on the inner left thigh. Maybe lift that foot and bring it behind. Wild thing. Look down. You can go straight to down dog or flow it out. Ooh, nice job. You got the left side to do. Left leg, inhale up. Left elbow. Up. Right elbow. Up. Knee to nose. Step through. Back knee down. I'm going to leave my curls toed, uh, curled under. Inhale, look up to the sky. Exhale, airplane, look to the top of your mat. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. In. Exhale. All right. From here, lift up into that airplane pose. Inhale up. Crescent warrior. From here, hands to heart center. Lean forward, keeping those heels up. Twist to your left. Pressing the hands together. Lifting the heart. Looking up and opening up with the wings. Hold that. Inhale, open a little more. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach up and back bend, chest wide open. Exhale, warrior two. Sink it down into that right angle, left knee. Flip, reverse. Keep that front knee bent. Sink, warrior two. Reach forward, left arm down right hand up 
press open your heart to the sky. Stay here or fingertips down. Reach all the way forward. Take those left fingers to the outside of that left foot. Transfer that weight. See if you can gently transition, balancing half moon. It's a tough transition. Use your core. Lift that leg. Maybe take the fingers off the ground, even if it's just for a second. If you got it, look up. If you fall out, get back. Stable. Nice job. Put that foot back. Get ready for that final transition. We're going to take a break after this. Three legged dog, left leg up, bend and stack. Flip it on over. Knees, 90 degree angles. Lift the heels up off the ground. Reach and just enjoy the scenery. Feel that cool breeze on your face. Look down, come into that high push-up position. The left knee is gonna to come to that right elbow. It's gonna go down to the ground or shoot it out. Lift up, open up. Keep the hips a little higher, then look down. We're gonna go into side plank or modified side plank on the right. Look up, take that left foot above the knee. Open it up, lift the hips, and then gently place it behind you. Reach way out in front. Good. Look down. This is it. Blow it out. Revisit child's pose. Nice job. You earned it. If you want, you can also come into a hero pose. Sitting on your heels, stretching out those quads, maybe coming into uh, just a little short meditation. So maybe close the eyes, and if you'd rather be in a cross-legged seated meditation, feel free to do that as well. We're going to stay here for five more breaths. Go back to noticing. Notice what you hear. Notice what you feel. Maybe feeling your heartbeat, your lungs working hard. If your eyes are closed, open them. We're going to keep it going. Let's work our way to down dog. From here, let's come to the top of our mat. Halfway lift at the top, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise, hands to heart center. Feeling both feet grounded into the earth. Looking over your fingertips, close your eyes. I'm gonna give you guys, I'm gonna turn to the front. I'm gonna give you guys some challenging balanced postures today. Maybe trying to close the eyes at times to test and see what your limits are, seeing what's possible. Let's start with that knee hugged into our chest on the right. The key is to pull the belly in and get the top of the head as close to the sky as you can. Hold it. Keep it in your left hand. Reach your right arm to the back. If you want to grab the outside of your right foot for dancing Shiva with a straightened leg, you can do so. If you're looking to the back. You can always keep your knee bent. Open it up. Come back to center. You're going to open it up to the right. So your right knee is coming to the right side. Look to the left. You can always take the big toe with your peace fingers and thumb and reach it out. Not my best pose, so I'm gonna keep my knee bent. Nice, hug it back in, nice and tight. I'm gonna move up so I have some room. 
Start to reach the arms up, straighten the leg. Inhale a little higher, inhale a little higher. Take it on back, airplane asana. Reach, Woo. I'm gonna need to go this way for more room. Point your right toes down, palms face the ground. Hold, hold, bring that knee back through, go into tree on the right, above or below that knee. Reach up, struggling here a little with my balance today. Use the core, see if you can look up. Feel that sun. Good, hold it, hands to heart center, keep that foot up. See if you can close your eyes. Use your core and your foot for stability. If you fall out like me, go right back in. And release. Really good work. That is not easy. As you can see, I was struggling. Um, every day is going to look a little bit different with balanced postures. Just know that one side is typically going to be better than the other. And that's what's great about yoga is we can work on that. So let's try the other side. I'll start facing with you. Whew. Let's take that left knee into the chest. Now my right foot is really weak compared to my left. So I need to really focus on pulling that belly in, getting tall. Finding a focal point. Now you can take the outside of that foot with your right hand for that dancing Shiva. Look to the back, left fingers go to the back. I'm going to keep it bent so I can stay tall. You do you. Get as much as you can out of it. Come back into the center. We're going to switch it out. We're going to open it up here, or you can grab that big toe and take it out. It's a little better on this side than the other. See what you can get. When you're ready, bring it back to center. Reach the arms up. This is where I get a turn. Straighten that left leg. Lift the toes as high as you can go. Look out in front of you. Find a focal point and stick it. Inhale a little higher. Exhale. Slowly, calmly take it back, airplane. Look out in front of you. Feel that airplane like a bird in the sky. Lift up a little higher, leg and heart. Transition right into that tree pose. Left foot above or below the knee. Reach the arms up, look up. Hands to heart center. Get where you can be stable in this tree pose on the left and see where you can close your eyes for just a moment, finding that stability. And then come on out. Beautiful job. We're going to keep it moving. So reach up, look up. Exhale, bow. Inhale. Halfway. Either flow it out or meet in down dog. We're going to move through these grounding postures. Right leg up, knee to chest. Step it through. Straighten it. Reach it forward. Triangle pose. Opening up that hip, looking up to the sky. Come on up, hands to heart center, to the back of your mat, low lunge. You really want to come down low. You can put your hands down. You can also lift your back heel if that feels good. It does not feel good for me. Back into that triangle pose one last time. Maybe reach all the way forward. Using your core, come back up. Turn your toes straight ahead. Interlace your hands behind you. Press, open your heart to the sky. Breathe in. Exhale, rinse and fold. Let your head hang heavy. Enjoy this stretch. If you want to go upside down, you're in a safe place to do that.
It's a great thing about yoga. It's your practice. You can take it anywhere you want it to go. And every day is going to look a little bit different. If your hands are interlaced, release them. Maybe grab that left ankle, pull yourself in. You're upside down, come on down gently. Bring your hands to the top of your mat. Turn your toes to 12 o'clock so you're in a running lunge and you're going to step right into a standing split. Pulling your forehead in towards your shin. Good. Slowly bring that foot back down and you're going to go into a wider pyramid stretch. Longer pyramid stretch. Toes are about 12 o'clock. Maybe your left foot's slightly out. Walk forward. Hands come down. High push-up. All right. Take five push-ups, regular or modified. I will modify. Knees down. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Two more. Maybe float out. Maybe go straight into that down dog. Left side. Lift left leg. Knee to chest. Step it through. Back foot parallel. Cartwheel your arms. Stand up. Reach forward. Triangle on the left. Your knees are straight but not locked. Press your left hip forward. Look up. Take that top arm way forward. Come on up, hands to heart center. Come to the back of your mat. Feel that inner thigh stretch on the left side. Look over your fingertips. Using your core and your legs, come back up. Triangle pose. One more time. Reach all the way forward. Come on up, turn the toes. This time you're gonna take your heels closer, toes pointing out, hands come to heart center, horse pose. Sink down. Sink a little lower. Take those knees, press them back, tuck your tailbone down, belly in. Maybe lift that right ankle off the ground, the right heel. Maybe the left. We're alternating. Hold it. Heels come down. Slowly stand up. Turn the toes. 12 o'clock. Inhale, reach up, look up. On your exhale, start to bow till your chest is parallel. Put your fingers down. Maybe shift your hips back and forth. And then when ready, reach through. You can choose to go upside down if that's in your practice. If you want to work your feet a little wider apart, great. If you want to go into middle splits, it's your practice. Grab that right ankle if you choose. If you're upside down, gently make your way back down. Come to the front, turn your toes to 12 o'clock, come into that runner's lunge, standing splits. You can play with this too by grabbing your ankle with your left hand or maybe both hands grabbing the ankle, pretending you're doing the splits. Pulling that forehead in. Good. Bring that foot so it's Back towards the back of the mat, come to a halfway lift, pull that left hip back, and then fold for that longer pyramid stretch. Hands come down, five more push ups, regular or modified. Here we go. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, two more. Hold, come down to your forearms. Hold, 
test it right here. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on down to that sphinx pose, point pose. Just enjoy the stretch for a moment. You want to take steel, reach your arms out, lift up, look straight out. Squeeze the glutes a little bit. You'll get a little more lift. And come back down. Good. Put your forehead on your uh, wrists or forearms, whatever feels good. And then reach both arms out, thumbs up. We're going to do some Supermans. Looking straight down, you're going to lift everything up. Exhale, come down. Inhale, come up. Exhale, come down. One more. Good. You can choose to do that or come into that floor bow, bending your knees, grabbing your ankles, and pressing up. Lift the heart, kick those feet into the hands. Look up and out. Otherwise, you're in those Supermans, following your breath. Come on down. Windshield wiper, those feet side to side. Going to the opposite side, resting your head. Cobra or up dog. And down dog. Maybe bend the knees. Feel the stretch. Come to your knees. Ankles cross over. Let's do a little bit of abs. You can't skip the abs in this practice. It's so important, the core, the front, and the back. So let's start in Supta Baddha Konasana. The soles of the feet touching knees just rested and fall wide. Close the eyes. Maybe put one hand on the heart, one hand on the belly. Take a moment to recognize the sounds. Recognize your breath, your heart. Open your eyes. Put your hands behind your head. Your elbows are out of your peripheral vision. Inhale, come on up and hold. Stay here. We're going to pulse from up here, not coming back down for 10, 5, 1. Hold, close the knees, come to tabletop, hold up. And here we go, pulsing for 10. Five, hold, straighten the legs. You're still in the up position, nose towards the sky. Pulse for 10. Four, three, two, one. Stay up if you can. Take that right leg so it hovers. We're only going to do five. Hold, I'm feeling it. Switch for five. Bring your knees to tabletop. Twist to your left. Hold and go 10, quick. 10, eight, six, four, two, in one, right side, twist, pull, last 10, 10, eight, six, four, two, and one. Good, hold those knees, chest, into the chest. If you would like to take a bridge, you can do so. I'm gonna take a wheel, it feels Really nice after doing four, stretching out the abs. 
So if you have wheel in your practice, I highly recommend it. Just feel the stretch. You're in bridge. Press those feet down and shins forward. Get your hips a little backs back to Supta Baddha Konasana. Hand on your heart and belly. Have you noticed the difference in your heartbeat and your breath from just moments ago? And this is where we're going to take some opening poses. This will be Yogi's Choice. I'm going to show you a bunch of different options. You can always take Half Pigeon. That's usually the favorite of people's. But Figure 4 does just the same taking your right ankle over your left knee and reaching through. That's always a great option. Feeling that out on the right outer hip, using maybe your right elbow to open up, pressing that right knee forward. Feel it a little more. You can also choose to do a reverse butterfly where you cross your legs, grab your ankles or feet, and then pull in. This is a little more intense than a figure four. Or you can always choose to do that half pigeon, the right shin, the top of the mat, parallel or near parallel, left leg goes back. Like I said, yogi's choice. I'm going to stay here for five more breaths. Just both parts of being in nature. really just savor it. Finish off that side. And if you're in a half pigeon and you want to stretch that left quad, feel free to. If not, just work your way maybe to down dog, stretch it out, take the other side. You can also choose to just switch it out. You don't have to go back to down dog. If you're in figure four, you're just going to take that left ankle over the right knee and switch it out. Sometimes I just get tired of half pigeon and I want to switch it up. I like being on my back. I personally really like this reverse butterfly stretch, but... That's where you need to figure out what feels best in your body. Again, five more breaths. Try and relax the face and the shoulders. Relax your jaw. And this is the time where if you're in half pigeon and you want to grab that back ankle, you can. And a lot of people are like, well, which hand do you have to use? It doesn't really matter. It's whatever feels better for you. I like to grab with the same hand as the bent leg. But the other side works just as well. It might be a little bit easier in the opposite way. And then if you're in half pigeon, maybe take that down dog to stretch it out. Everybody make your way to a seated position, taking both legs out, sitting up tall. Inhale, reach, look up to that sun. Exhale, fold. Now key things you can do here is first keep your legs nice and straight. Point your toes towards your head. And if you can't grab your feet, that's okay. Grab your ankles, grab your shins, whatever it is, but pull yourself down and in. Every exhale is an opportunity to go deeper into that stretch. Slowly come up. 
We're going to roll back and we're going to put our feet in the air. Or you can go into a shoulder stand. I never skip the rejuvenation part of the practice. I think it's one of the most important parts to reverse blood flow. Not to mention it's so great for your immune system, your lymphatic system. And if you want to take shoulder stand, you want to take your toes up to the sky, squeezing your elbows closer together. Keeping your neck completely still. If you want to take plow, you can, but keep your neck still. Maybe even start with one leg. See how that feels. And then switch. If that feels good, then maybe attempting both. Maybe interlacing your hands towards the top of your mat, straightening those legs, keeping your neck still. Or just keep your feet up in the air. Death man's pose is an option from here. And then if you are in plow one vertebrae at a time, Come out of it. If your feet are up, slowly bring those feet back down to the mat. Bent knees. Feet as wide as the mat. Hands coming out to a T. Palms down. Take both knees to the right. Look to the left. Now, if that's enough right there, stay. If you want more, right foot on top of the left thigh, knee, and feel that extra stretch in the outer left hip along with a great spinal twist. Work your way back to middle. Reset the back. Press the feet down. Shins forward. Feel the low back. Press into the mat. And then take both knees to the left. Left foot. Right knee if it feels good. Look to your right fingertips and then close your eyes. Back to center, both feet grounded into the earth, press down, feel the low back, um, into the earth, press both knees together. Make goal post with your arms. Take your heart up. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Rest them back down. And you can choose to stay here or take your heels to the top corners of your mat. And I'm going to leave my arms in goal post today. This is, to me, the ultimate surrender pose. and just focus on the breath. Every exhalation, work to let go. Let go of any muscular tension, any emotional or mental tension. Just let it go, surrender to it. At least for this moment in time. Take a moment to acknowledge what you are hearing outside. Acknowledge what you feel. And then open up your eyes. 
just take a moment to look around. Savor the beautiful outdoors for just a moment longer. And take a deep breath in and just notice what you smell. Hug that right knee in, followed by the left. Maybe take a rock side to side. And either roll to one side for a moment of rest or begin to rock yourself up into a seated position, taking your time. And when you get up, bring your hands into heart center. Maybe keeping your eyes closed. Notice how you feel, your body and your mind, and honor the work that you just did on your mat. Taking time for self-care is so necessary, especially in this crazy time. And I wanna thank you for joining me in a practice today. I honor and acknowledge you. And with that, take a deep breath in. And let it go. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really enjoy doing a practice outdoors. Hopefully we can do more of those in the future. Bye.